of his two consorts or two wives. So uh, this is a little different from what we had at Palenque. We have, um, you know, an insight maybe into some of the social structure of the court here. Uh, there was more than one woman in the life of, of Bird Jaguar, certainly. And he's shown here as the two women are holding a big snake. And there's the big open mouth of the snake up here. And out of that comes this figure, uh, sort of a dragon looking character. And that is the Maya god Awil, who is the really important. Uh, sort of embodiment and, and animate force of royal power. Awil is, is sort of the, uh, the lightning uh, power of a Maya king. So the, the glyph that says conjuring, is that holding the fish? Right there. It's, it's a... hard to see because it's tiny. Uh -huh. But it's, this is uh, the, like what's B, called the fish in hand glyph. B1? No, A, A2. 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 Yeah. So, so his fingers are curved around Yeah, it. it's like this. Uh -huh. And he's got a fish in it. Oh. And the idea there is, um, well, it's the word for to fish with one's hands <laughs> in actually Teltal Maya, which is the language uh, that some of the people are speaking around here today, uh, is tsak. It's just a, a, a term that's in the living language today. And in ancient texts, it means to conjure a deity from heaven. It's the idea of grabbing something from another realm and bringing it into yours.